joining us now is Shannon Sullivan. She is the interim COO at Women and Infants Hospital. Shannon, always great to see you. You too, Raina. Nice to see you today. Thank you. So from what I hear, you had um, ankle surgery recently. Can you tell me about what was happening with you? What was wrong with your ankle to begin with? Sure. In April, I went for a run on one of our first beautiful days. And unfortunately, while I was out on that run, I uh, misjudged a step and ended up turning my ankle. Um, a couple days later, after the pain didn't go away, I went and I got an x-ray that showed that I had actually um, had an old injury that was exacerbated on that run and that I could not wait to have surgery. Um, I was one of those lucky people who was considered an emergent surgery during the uh, COVID crisis and that I needed to have the surgery within the next week or so, so that it did not get worse. Okay, and tell me where you had your surgery and a little bit about your patient experience. Sure, I had my surgery at Kent Hospital. Um, I had it in the ambulatory surgery center located there. So, um, and it was a wonderful experience. I went, um, as I said, we had decided to do my surgery rather quickly. Um, so um, the surgery was booked within 48 hours. Pre-admission testing called me. We did a phone interview. Um, and then I was, uh, went in on May 6th to have my surgery. I um, went in through the ambulatory surgery entrance. There were not many people there. Um, because at that time it was only the people who were receiving surgery who was going in. There were no significant other people. Um, I was screened both on the phone for any COVID-like symptoms as well as when I went in and um, then proceeded to have surgery and uh, post-op care in the ambulatory surgery center and get discharged the same day. Um, and the care there was excellent and I felt incredibly safe. Well, let me say this. Some people watching might say, well, she works for Women and Infants Hospital, a Care New England hospital. Kent sure. is also a Care New England hospital. Mm -hmm. She might just be saying this. What do you have to say to those people who might think you're just uh, sugarcoating it? I, I wouldn't blame them for thinking so. Um, what people should know about the surgery is I'd actually put it off for two years. This, as I said in the beginning, was um, an old injury that I had, and I'd had it for quite some time. In May of 2018, I had been told that I probably needed surgery, um, and it was recommended that I consider booking it at that time. I uh, didn't do that for a variety of reasons, most of which had to do with work. I didn't want to miss out on any time at work, and so I delayed having that surgery. Um, and to delay it to a point that I needed to have it during COVID, um, I, I probably could have delayed it again if I absolutely insisted on not having it. But I have to tell you, the staff and the teams there made me feel so safe from anesthesia to the surgeon and especially the nursing teams. They were really articulate about what they had put in place. They made me really comfortable. And my, uh, since my surgery, I've progressed a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. Um, I think because I received the care when I needed to receive it, as well as I've been receiving my rehab at the Spalding Outpatient Facility at Kent Hospital, but up on the Providence campus. So um, I think if I had waited any longer, I might have been in a lot more trouble in terms of uh, how long the recovery was going to take. But, um, uh, and, and if anybody knows me, they're going to know that I don't like to take time out of work. It's not my preferred state. So it takes a lot for me to do that. Um, but um, I can tell you that I was treated really well and I felt really safe. And I was um, am walking around now on my high heels for anybody who has seen me and I feel great. Did you have any concerns about contracting COVID or did the benefit of wellness far outweigh the risk of, um, you know, far outweigh the risk mm -hmm. of anything happening because you were in an of an environment of healthcare providers. I mean, I certainly, to your point, uh, Raina, I certainly have more of a knowledge than probably people out there because um, we've worked in this every day for the past several months, and I felt fairly confident knowing that the right procedures were being put in place. Um, I did not fear contracting COVID. To be honest, the community spread at that point 
had taken over. So I knew that I was just as likely, if not more likely, to contract COVID by going to Target or to the grocery store than I was at the hospital. And I feel like um, actually I was probably safer there with all of uh, what they put in place in terms of masking and cleanliness and infection prevention than I would be um, picking up paper towels, you know, a couple days earlier. Um, so I didn't have this, the same concerns that maybe some others would have had, but um, I will tell you that I'm very confident that I made the right decision and that I think anybody getting care right now can feel very confident that they are safe in any of our healthcare facilities. How soon after your surgery were you in high heels? <laughs> Three weeks, but I'm not supposed to admit that out loud. <laughs> and how do you feel now? I feel great, thanks. I can't run quite yet, but um, I've been getting on the bike and people can see me motoring around here and I've been able to get back to my daily living much quicker than um, we anticipated that I would. So I'm really happy to be back and especially happy for those high heels. Shannon Sullivan, uh, Interim COO of Women and Infants Hospital, thank you so much for sharing your patient experience with us and we're all so glad that you're feeling well. Thanks, Rana. Talk to you soon.